Gift of Tusks, a blue instant from the upcoming release Oath of the Gatewatch, has caught my admiring eye. It's not the pseudo pongify effect that has my full attention, but rather the rampaging elephant crashing through the card frame. One look at this card's artwork and I was entranced, yet again, by the masterful style of Kev Walker. A British comics artist based out of Leeds, Kev has been killing it in the world of magic since Portal. His catalog includes 379 cards, many of which are instantly recognizable by most players in the game right now. Yep, Kev is responsible for cards like Damnation, Arcbound Ravager, Kitchen Finks, and Inferno Titan. Outside of Magic, Walker has provided imagery for Marvel series Avengers Arena, as well as other iconic games like Dungeons and Dragons and Warhammer. Needless to say, this man is well versed in fantasy art. But what makes his artwork so badass? and more than that, so easily recognizable. Well, let's look at some of his trademark details. First, many of his commissions are for three-quarter body shots, be them of beasts and creatures or warriors and clerics. His subjects are in full view and dominate the card frame. His backgrounds are atmospheric and smoky, often of one color, causing the subjects to pop. Secondly, Kev likes to exaggerate muscles in the bodies. This could be a crossover from his comic book stylings. Many of his humanoid characters are either composed of tight angles and strong features, with huge hands and sharp noses, or thin and flowing, adorned with robes and regal armor. His creatures mimic these tendencies. For large beasts like elephants and dragons, you'll find thick, dark lines contrasted by light pastel colors. Look at the arms on the giant in Earthbrawn, and the bulky scales of Emperor Crocodile for this effect. Finally, Kev succeeds in creating high velocities of movement in his art. Goblin Slide, Kazool Warlord, and Kamal Pitfighter all show highly animated subjects suspended in motion, as if someone hit the pause button right on time. I spent some time drawing Goblin Grenade in this video, one of my favorite cards in the game, whose artwork is the epitome of this effect. So are you ready for the pop quiz? This segment is called Kev Spotting. Your job is simple. Choose the card from a group of cards whose artwork belongs to Mr. Walker. I'll go easy on you at first, you know, to warm up. Here we go! Round one. The correct answer is Croson Tusker. Yogmoth's Will is a Ron Spencer piece, another affluent artist from Magic's past whose style is significantly different than Kev's. Okay, okay, not bad, but let's turn up the heat. Round two. Alright, alright, that was easy too. Krumar Bondkin belongs to Kev Walker. Again, notice the massive fists and gargantuan pectorals, as well as the light washed out color palette. Birds and Sidri are both Therese Nielsen pieces, and of course you knew that. Now, round three will surely separate the bandwagons from the aficionados. Oh man, this is a doozy. The correct answer is Gush, one of Vintage's most complex card draw spells. The other three are token Rob Alexander pieces, whose style is quite similar to Kev Walker's, as seen in these three landscapes. And all of these cards were but a fraction of Kev Walker's expansive portfolio. The man is brilliant, and I bet at least one of your favorite cards are the product of his imagination. Keep an eye out, you'll be pleasantly surprised by the name text next to that little paintbrush in the card frame. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers! So, what is your favorite Kev Walker card? Let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter. Also, check out some of my recent videos here on YouTube. Happy New Year, everyone!